memory modules. This is the basic memory module I'm going to talk about in this video. We see from this we've got two data lines connecting to it. So these are the data pins, uh, input and output pins. So the data can go into the memory or come out of the memory from here. This means that we've got two bits can be stored in each location. We've also got two address lines. And with two address lines, all the combinations 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This gives us four combinations of address, which means there's going to be four locations within this. Now if we um, toss all this up, so we've got four locations. Each one can store two bits of memory, uh, two bits of data. So we've got eight memory cells within this. And we've got three control lines. We've got write enable, chip enable, and output enable on these. So inside this, how do we write the data into it? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that the control lines are all high. Now, the address can be anything. So um, in this timing diagram, if we've got a high and a low both at the same time, it means it could be either high or low or any combination. This is halfway. This suggests that the uh, data lines are floating at the moment. So to write, first of all, let's set the address. Uh, in there, so set the address we're going to write to, and then let's set the data. So connect the data lines. So it could be either high or low, or any combinations um, on the lines. And what we're going to do here is we're going to so we're going to hold um, write enable low to tell it that it's going to write, and then the chip enable is pulse low. I've seen it in books where um, the chip enable is held low first of all, and then write enable is pulsed. But anyway, whichever way you do it, uh, when one of these returns high, that's when the data is going to be stored in. And then uh, we can just return all the, all the control lines back high again. So this is the order we do it. Make sure all the control lines are high, set the address, set the data, uh, hold uh, one of the either WE or CE low, and then pulse the other one low. And to read from this, what we need to do, again, make sure the control lines are held high. We need to set the address that we're going to be reading from. We need to make sure the data line is floating. We don't want a conflict between anything that's on the data line and anything that's stored in the memory here. So we've got to make sure that these are floating. And then uh, we hold output enable low and then hold chip enable low. Again, these can be swapped over, so it could be chip enable held low first and then output enable sent low. All of the time that both of these are low, the data is going to be connected from the memory module onto the data line. As soon as one of these goes high again, then the data line is going to be floating. So let's look at uh, making larger memory modules from these. T uh, from these, so we've got two identical modules here. First of all, we're going to look at how we can store instead of two bits per location, we can store four bits per location. So if we want to store four, uh, four locations, uh, which we can get with these uh, two address, um, address lines, we can store four bits. So we're going to store two of the bits, it's 0 and 1, in, um, <coughs> in this module, and we're going to store bits 2 and 3 in this module. So we need four data lines, one for each bit that's going to be stored. But we're still going to need just the two address lines. These two are going to be working in parallel. <clears throat> so for address 0, 0, we're going to store bits 0 and 1 in here, <coughs> and bits 2 and 3 in here. So this gives us four locations here. So we've got four locations, each storing four bits. Two of them will be in here, two in here. <coughs> now what we can do is we can look at how we can uh, make more addresses. So we're going to have eight locations, each storing two bits. So what we need, we just need two data lines because the two bits are either going to be stored in this memory loca <coughs> location, or this memory module, or they're going to be stored in this memory module. And what we need to do is we need to be able to decide whether we're going to store them in one of the four locations here or one of the four locations here. And the way we do this, we need a third address line because all the way from 0, 0, 0, all the way up to 1, 1, 1, that's our eight different combinations, and we can use the address line to control this. What we're going to do is we're going to send the chip enable signal either to this module or to this module. 
and to control our multiplexer decide whether it's this one or this one that's going to be accessed we're going to use the third address line so we're storing two bits in each locate um, in each location in here or in here and we've got four locations in here four locations in here and then this um, this third address line will dictate whether we're going to um, write them into here or read them from here write them into here or read them into here 